This is Ubuntu 2304 running on M1 Mac natively. In this video, I will show you how to install Ubuntu 2304 on M1 or M2 Mac. It's a step-by-step -step installation tutorial, so make sure to watch the video till to the end to avoid any confusion. Now as you can see this is my MacBook Air with an M1 chip running macOS Monterey. To install Ubuntu Linux on M1 or M2 Mac as a dual boot, you need to reserve a free space of 80GB or higher. Also, ensure your Mac is connected to faster internet and has a sufficient battery charge. Before installing Ubuntu 2304 on Apple Silicon Mac, open the terminal and execute the schematic. Now locate the internal drive and take a screenshot of the four partitions related to Mac OS. You will need this information for the last step. Next, open your browser and go to the GitHub page of Ubuntu Linux to learn more about the project. At the time of making this video, Ubuntu Linux is in the early stages, so not all features may work as intended. Now copy this line of code and paste it into the terminal. Then run this command to execute the installer script which uses the Asahi Linux installer and prompts you to enter the sudo password. Remember the Mac OS username, in my case it's M1 Mac and press the enter key to continue. Now you will see the information about Mac OS and the related partitions. The type R to resize the macOS partition and create a free space for Ubuntu Linux. You can shrink the partition by entering the size in percent or gigabytes. Now the installer can automatically determine the required space for Ubuntu if you type MIN for the minimum size. For example, out of 100 GB, the installer allocated 61 GB for Ubuntu Linux. Then type Y to continue. Now this process takes some time, so please be patient. Now press the Enter key to proceed. Now you can see the allocated free space. Type F to install the Ubuntu Linux using this free space. You will be given to choose between Ubuntu 2204 LTS and 2304. It's better to choose Ubuntu 2304 for hardware-based acceleration. Now I will choose option 1 to install the latest version of Ubuntu with the GNOME desktop. Then confirm the installer to use the allocated free space by typing max. Then name your Ubuntu Linux installation and press the written key to start the installation. Now this will take around 15 to 30 minutes, so sit back, relax, and grab some drinks. Once the installation is complete, you will be prompted to enter your Mac OS admin password. Now at this point, we are done with the first step and you can see more instructions for step number two to finish the Ubuntu installation. Now read these instructions and follow me carefully. But this is where you need to be very cautious. Now press the enter key to shut down your Mac. Now wait for at least 20 seconds, then press and hold the power button until it says loading startup options. And this will take you to the one true boot which shows all the bootable volumes that have an operating system. Now use the arrow keys or mouse cursor to select Ubuntu Linux and press the enter key to boot into Mac OS Recovery. Now choose the username and enter the password you use to log in into Mac OS. Once the terminal opens, press enter to continue. 
You authorize the Ubuntu by typing the username and password of the macOS administrator to change the boot policies. For some reason, this will restart your Mac and attempt to boot back to the macOS recovery. Now force shut down your Mac, keep holding the power button and wait for loading startup options to appear again. Now select Ubuntu from one to reboot. Choose the Mac OS username and enter the password to continue. Now you may see a message that the system did not boot into the correct recovery. Now press the written key one more time to shut down your system. Now this is a tedious process to set up Ubuntu 2304 on M1 or M2 Mac. However, let's try one last time by holding the power button until loading startup options is displayed. Now select Ubuntu Linux using the arrow keys and press the enter key to boot into Mac OS recovery. Now enter the Mac OS username and password and authorize Ubuntu by typing the Mac OS administrator username and password to change the boot policies. Now you can see this option, just type Y to confirm the changes. The next stop, enter the username and password of macOS one last time to complete the installation of Ubuntu Linux. And voila, after trying multiple times, you should see that the installation is now complete. Now press the enter key to reboot. Now this will boot your Mac into Ubuntu which is running on bare metal. The default username is Ubuntu and the password is Ubuntu. Just go ahead set up the Ubuntu Linux for the first time. Connect to Wi-Fi and open the terminal to change the default password. Just type sudo passwd ubuntu and press enter. Then enter the default password ubuntu in lowercase and press enter. Now set a new password. Now once this is done, type the command to update the packages. Then execute this command to update the grub bootloader. Restart your Mac to apply these changes. Now I just want to say in one word, Ubuntu on Apple Silicon is mind-blowing. The performance is top-notch compared to Intel Macs. However, since it's an experimental build, some of the features like FaceTime camera, microphone and sound from internal speakers may not work. For more information about Ubuntu running on Apple Silicon, check out the review video link in the description. Now to switch between Mac OS and Ubuntu, first turn off the Mac. Once it completely goes black, press and hold the power button until loading startup options is displayed. Now remember, when the Mac is turned off, holding the power button for 10 seconds will take you to the boot menu where you can see both macOS and Ubuntu entries.
You can choose Macintosh HD to boot into Mac OS. This is a perfect doable setup on Apple Silicon Mac with Ubuntu and Mac OS. Now when you're inside Mac OS, open the startup disk and change the boot order to make Mac OS boot automatically whenever you reboot the system from any OS. As a bonus part of this video, if you decide to delete Ubuntu from the dual boot, just boot back to Mac OS, then open the terminal and type diskutil space list. Under the internal drive, you will notice that partition 3, 4, 5 are the main volumes of Ubuntu Linux. I'm going to bring up the screenshot that I took while installing Ubuntu and compare it with the current partitions. Now look for Ubuntu EFI partition, in my case disk 0 S4. Note down the identifier and erase the partition by typing the command provided. Now head over to the Disk Utility, choose View from the menu bar and select Show All Devices. Now choose Apple SSD from the sidebar and click on the partition. Now these are the three partitions of Ubuntu, delete them one by one. Do not touch the first and last two partitions. After deleting the partition, the free space will be added back to macOS. Now if you reboot your system, it will boot back to macOS. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install Ubuntu 2304 on a base M1 or M2 Mac natively. For detailed information, head over to my website for step-by-step -step installation instructions. Now check the description for more information. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.